What killed Tahir Elchi was not the state, but statelessness. Powerful words from Salahattin Demirtas, the leader of Turkey's pro-Kurdish HDP party. He joined thousands in Diyarbakir to mourn the death of the Kurdish lawyer and human rights activist. Elchi's funeral came a day after he was gunned down during a shootout between attackers and police in the troubled region. Four months after a ceasefire between Kurdish rebels and Turkish security forces broke down. This colleague from the Bar Association vowed to continue his work. His legal struggle and his cause will not cease, he said. I say this as a human rights defender, his co-worker and his friend. We will follow in his footsteps. Funerals were also held for two policemen who died in the same attack. Initial post-mortem results suggest Elchi was killed by a single shot to the back of the neck. Turkish Prime Minister Ahmet Davutoglu said a gun found next to the body was the same one used in an attack on police officers, which incited the shootout in which Elchi was killed. He's vowed to catch the perpetrator.